Yo, Team Novelty homies, what is up? I wanted to make some quick videos. I couldn't sleep tonight. Uh, I watched some videos with uh, SK because they played pretty good on Nuke. Um, so I'm going to go over uh, just some real basic stuff. Shouldn't be too long of a video. Um, first thing I wanted to go over is T side. Um, we're going to pretty much scratch all of our, egg, or all of our executes, basically. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I want from now on a pistol round. So for pistol round, everyone's going to buy armor except me. I'm going to buy a nade, smoke, and a flash. And we're going to do this pretty often. So I'm pretty much always going to nade, not always, but a lot of times I'm going to nade a uh, squeaky door and smoke it as well. And uh, that nade also breaks back too, so... Um, but yeah, it's just gonna, you know, it, it could possibly force um, <clears throat> someone outside. Instead of playing here, he might come over here, or mini guy, instead of playing right here, he might you know, force them to commit inside. It's just, it's not letting them focus all their attention on where they need to, basically. It's just, it's just, I, I really like it. I really like the kind of play that they do on Nuke. Um, so yeah, smoke and I throw a smoke and a flash there. Now, uh, they don't really do much. They spam a little bit to show their presence here. But while this is all being done, uh, three people on pistol round are going to be working outside. So, uh, fall in through the smoke and flashes, or the smoke and nade to, for Spooky, and then he ran outside. Two people were already outside, and they're just working uh, outside. After he throws the smoke, he's, they're trying to pick anyone that's rotating towards many or anything like that. And then they're just running down a uh, secret. Meanwhile, this is happening, the other two players. Um, so these other two players is probably going to be Frost and uh, RTV, RTB. So these other two players, RTB and Frost, are going to be work making their way down a... Uh, down the ramp. So you're gonna wait for the smoke and for us to show presence there, and then so you guys will probably be like around this area here, and then that's when that's when you guys are uh, taking control of the ramp room, and you're wrapping down there, and by that time we'll probably be down secret and we're pinching into B. You guys can probably have one guy lurk after you gain control of radio, or I mean uh, ramp around here. Or, you know, just depending on how many people are alive, get into sight, get into toxic. Make sure we clear this room before we plant. And we should be good. So that's our pistol right now. Um, our anti-eco. So if we win, uh, I'm just going to post up back here. So I can basically see if they're pushing... Um, pushing the ladder up here or lobby so it's a really safe play here and then the rest of you guys are going outside just two guys on marshmallow two guys outside so that's probably gonna what we're gonna do for the next two rounds and if there's no resistance you guys just go straight down squeaky and and then I'll lurk into mini or vent or something so pretty simple so probably RTB and says they'll go up on marshmallow and the other two are gonna go outside and I'm holding bushes. That's anti-ego. Now, our, now what I want our T side to evolve around is literally our TB getting a pick every single fucking round. So our default is just gonna be one guy outside. Um, probably says says pretty good working outside. So his default is just gonna be out here. He's gonna throw the smoke. Says if you don't know the smoke, uh, you stand around this area. It doesn't have to be anything particular. Uh, just make sure that this is perpendicular here, and just aim around these telephone wires, it doesn't have to be exact, just throw it, and that'll smoke up garage, just smoke that every single round, it's going to make things easy. Um, so you're the dedicated outside guy, um, and then the rest, the other three besides RTV are inside holding pushes. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Sis is the dedicated outside guy. Um, every round since uh, Frost, you're the entry fragger, you're probably not going to be throwing very many nades when we actually do execute something. Um, I want you to nade and smoke uh, the squeaky door and make a presence there pretty much every round. So, 
Um, you don't have to be exact here. You just probably run around here in this area. But if you really want to be precise here, you could stand on that arrow. And one, two, three, four over here. And that's going to get the door and the vent. And same place for the smoke. And if I threw it right, it's going to be really hard for them to see if we do decide to like just try and rush vent or something. So yeah, you'll just throw that, spray a little bit here, and uh, just hold this push. Probably, yeah, just hold the lobby push. Um, who's the fucking other guy on our team? This is outside. Uh, RTB is flowing around the map. Um, I'll probably hold Squeaky here. Some kind of angle. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll be the guy holding Squeaky. You can throw the nade and all that bullshit and hold lobby. And then uh, our fifth, uh, Fearless or uh, GW, just holding uh, the ramp push here. Hold it however you're comfortable, if you want to hold the tight angle, off angle, whatever. So yeah, that's our default. Um, our t the, the T side is heavily evolved around RTB getting picks. So RTB, you could either go for this pick here, or you just run out here, try and pick someone here quick. You could run ramp, try and get a pick here. You could actually come here after he nades it and post up on this angle here. Or you could open the door, however, however you want to do it. You could just tell him, you know, nade the door or whatever. And you would hold here or something like that. Or you could go for a pick outside, which will probably be the standard thing that you do. But if you get a good spawn, you could always come inside, obviously. and get a pick here be aware of this angle a lot of people are going to be offing this angle if they're offing marshmallows or be aware that this is smoked so there's a very good chance that uh you know someone might be offing here or here i don't want you to over commit though when we're going for these picks because if you come up here sis is going to be over here or around the red box so if you get killed from heaven or something he's there's no way this is going to be able to get that trade so, uh, so if you're on Marshmallow and you're not seeing anything, I would have Sizz, uh, he already smoked this, so maybe, um, or maybe you could flash for Sizz, so something like this, and then he could peek, and you guys could take control of Mini. Another thing you could do is, uh, once you get control of outside, is you could actually jump on top of these boxes here, and try and pick a guy like Heaven or Hell, at these angles here. Just mix it up, How, whatever you're comfortable with, just let us know so we know what angles we need to hold. So that's our default really, we're just, RTB, we're waiting for RTB to get a pick and we're holding for pushes on all the other spots. I'd say if nothing happens at around like a minute, so we spent 45 seconds waiting for a pick, if nothing happens, let's have two strats really, let's go outside or go ramp, I don't really like lobby too much. Um, so, if nothing happens, um, Sis is going to be dedicated, so remember, there's dedicated outside and dedicated ramp, so Fearless or GW, you're here, and uh, Sis is dedicated outside, so it'll be a four-man grouping, and whoever's dedicated is still in their spot, so if we're going ramp, Sis is still going to be outside, and he can lurk secret, he can lurk mini, lurk heaven, anything and vice versa. If we go outside, you can lurk in the lobby, up here, in the hut, and, you know, and squeaky, radio, wherever. Um, I would say the most important thing, if we want to go ramp, is just um, this cross smoke here. You just kind of stand by the door here, throw it off this. It's really easy. 
and then the flash you just run throw off the second line. Now flash is really gonna blind anyone here playing here. I mean it, it blinds a lot of things, especially this these guys here. So that's just gonna take away that angle here if he is opping that, and yeah, pretty easy stuff. Um, I just want to make sure that uh, if we go secret, radio isn't too bad because we have four guys there. We could have somebody lurk. We could have three guys run down radio and says can lurk down secret or whatever. But if we th like say for example if we throw our smokes, which we might be doing that every once in a while. If we run down here, I, it's just kind of help, helter skelter when we get down here. So I want our entry fragger. So um, Frost, I want you to be the guy that's gonna come up here and try and frag anyone out here. Because remember, if if they if we smoke it, for instance, or something like that, they're gonna be guys from ramp playing these angles here. Um, so just you know, be aware of that you could probably molly one. Like probably molly this angle here, and hold the other one, or whatever you want to do. It's comfortable. So we'll have two guys, probably Sizz and uh, Sizz and Entry Fragger Frost come up and radio. Sizz try and get close angle here, and Frost just hold the angle. And then the other two guys, uh, me and RTB. I'd like to have RTB get in vent. Hold this angle. Just be aware of a uh, vent RTB. And the other guy sitting here. Make sure no one's here. Clear all the areas out. And uh, it should be pretty hard for them to retake it. And be aware, um, you know. Pretty much uh, T side. <clears throat> I want to change just a couple tiny things on CT side. So uh, instead of 131, I want to go to a 221 ramp. I, um, I I just it makes sense. It's a lot like cash. So uh, I think GW is playing heaven. Um, so think of this area as a highway on cash. So you're basically playing wherever. Uh, you feel uh, best based on uh, the team's calls. So if you know they're smoking A or something like that, get to heaven. If they're smoking ramp. Play here. Throw a flash. Whatever. Sizz and uh, Sizz and Frost. I think you guys are the ones that are playing inside. So remember, there's going to be only two of you now. So I'd still like to have one of you come buy mini or play mini or up here or wherever you want to play but uh just be aware that they can rush this easily and uh since there's only two of you guys now be i, I think it's best for you guys to molly definitely molly this uh squeaky is not a big issue because it's a funnel really so if you have someone um like if you come out here to mini if he mollies that it's it's it's, it's gonna be really easy for you so sis Make sure you buy a molly over flashes and smokes. Flash or molly this right away from heaven, and then uh, let him get into position. You can play behind vent. You play mini, yeah, wherever. Really simple. So yeah, um, we're just kind of switching our T side to a more reactive thing. Um, I, I just think it's going to be best for us. I think we're pretty good aimers. Just. Ex the executes are really hard to pull off, I think. Um, so yeah, hopefully this helps. Um, try and get this video watched. Well, I'm sure if you made it this far, uh, you watched it. But uh, we're going to start implementing this on Monday. So just be ready to play, guys. Uh, Skull Esports is, they're like 10-0 and 0 in scrims on Nuke. And they beat like two 6-0 teams in open. So... It's going to be a really tough game. we got to make sure we're on our uh, A game. So <sighs> Hit the DMs. Uh, play solid. Let's practice. Let's uh, fuck some bitches. And let's get 7-1.
Peace out, boys.